Hey folks, this is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting, and today I'm going to show you guys how to put licking branches over a mock scrape that didn't have any branches over it in the first place. Today I'm going to show you guys a simple hack to go ahead and put licking branches over a mock scrape or a grapevine mock scrape that you've created where there aren't already licking branches. I actually created this grapevine mock scrape two years ago and if you take a look back here the deer had totally destroyed all the branches. There was barely any branches remaining on this so I wanted to get some more licking branches out over this. All I did was find a one to two inch diameter tree that had some branches sticking out sideways. I cut that tree down and if you see behind me, you can see it horizontally right here with these branches sticking out sideways. I took some screws, I took my screw gun and I actually screwed this branch into the tree on the back side here so that now I have fresh licking branches that are out over this grapevine mock scrape that I created. And if you look, I've only had this out here about two weeks. These branches are already torn up, torn up, torn up, torn up. I know they've been in here. I've got fresh tracks in the last two weeks. And I've also got a water tank that's only about five yards away and a stand that's about 18 yards away. This is right in between two cornfields. So usually I don't see a whole lot of daytime movement until I get right to the rut where bucks start cruising. So that's my hope is to have this place all set and ready to go when I get to that end of October time frame after cold fronts have rolled through into that first two weeks of November. Now that I have the grapevine set up for this scrape and I've got the horizontal licking branches in, I will leave this alone for the summer and come back sometime the end of August and put a beech branch in here. Beech tend to hold their leaves longer and my hope is by getting it in the end of August, those leaves will stay on that licking branch through September, October, and into November when the buck are using this the most. I'll post another video the end of August when I hang this beech branch to show you guys exactly what I'm doing to set this up. Hopefully this short video helped you guys figure out how you can get some licking branches over your mock scrapes and grapevine mock scrapes on the properties that you hunt. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hoping you guys have a great day. See ya.